Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today is trout. I am looking for trout. I'm hoping to find some trout here at Rattlesnake Island. I That's where I am. I've got to walk through these rocks. Got to head all the way down. And I'm just going to fish all the rocks. All the way down. Skunked. I tried paddle tails. I tried frozen shrimp all along those jetties. Nothing. Spot number two. Let's go. tide is going out. I haven't fished this thing in over a year. I'm just curious to see what's here, if anything is here or not. You see action, you throw it where the action is. That's the rule. That's my rule. Just sending it out right here by this oyster bed. Some topwater strikes as the sun is coming up. Boom, dropping the okuma. Akuma rods, that's what I'm going with today. I've got other colors too, but this color right here in the winter time is producing and it's a swivel jig. So when they get, when the fish gets hooked, it swivels. I've showed this before, but why not? Oh, he's lively. Go through the horn as usual. That's what I like to start off with. And we're just gonna throw them in. Toss it towards that. Loosen my drag. Nice. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this bead, put this bead on first, just to give it some color. It's the only reason I'm doing that. And that is a fisherman's choice. That has nothing to do, this is probably stupid, whatever. I like it. I'm telling you, I like it. I like the idea. I just dropped it, lost it, got it. I like the idea. Put this bead on first. Then I'm gonna put my jig head with a polymer knot. It's good, your basic polymer knot. You can Google that if you want, but go through. I go back through, just like that. Make a loop. Tie it like you're tying a shoelace. Overhand knot. Okay. Get that loop there, stick the hook through, come back over, cinch it all down. Don't hook yourself. Boom, I'm using 30 pound test, and that's just because that's what I had. If not, I would be using 20 pound. But 30, 30 pounds good. All right, let's get this guy out here. So now that I got my little bead right here, I'm gonna flip this guy around. I'm gonna just tie a little knot right here. I'm gonna cinch this knot down towards the bead. Now, I don't know of anybody else that does this, okay? I, I, maybe they do, maybe they do, I don't know. But I'm just doing that. Okay, keep that bead right there. Look at that. Got some chartreuse. Well, it's definitely gorgeous out here. I'm getting tons of bites. I'm just not hooking up. Oh, there we go. Fish on, fish on. I finally got one. School of bluefish. They choked it though. They choked that jig. Yeah, he choked that jig, dang. Well, so, I switched to a Slam Shady and I just swam that bait with the, with the bead on it. He liked it. 
All right, we're testing out. Oh, this slime is slippery. Green equals slippery. Just remember that. Anyway, heading to uh, Shore Drive. Tide is very, very low, so I got my boots on. I am walking out here, and I'm going to the outside of this oyster bed, and I'm gonna attempt to catch some fish. I've been looking for trout all morning. Just watch your step on this slimy stuff. The green equals slimy, boy. It's slip and slide. Starting off with this hackney bait. Uh, got this at the Fish Bites Trading Post. Hackney baits. Hashtag hack attack. We will see how this does here. It's a paddle tail. I just got a thump. Yep, look at that. Bit my bait right off. I'm willing to bet that's a that's a bluefish. Dang. All right, reload. There we go. Fish on. Yep, bluefish. Should have known this little guy. God. Well, we weren't skunked, but we should have known. Actually, we did know. Bluefish in the winter time. That's what. That's what's biting. It bit this uh, slam shady. Little paddle tail. I. I mean, they are fun to catch on artificial. But I'm going for trout. Come on. I, I just cannot find the trout. I don't. I do not know where the trout are. It's been a long day of fishing. I started out at Rattlesnake Island at that sunrise, trying to get the the bite, the very first of the outgoing tide. I uh, moved, moved myself around that island. I only got one bite in the morning, and that was it. I didn't even, I didn't even catch anything. So I made a few other stops. I stopped off at Moultrie Creek. Um, no bites there. Came down to the Shore Drive boat ramp where I'm at right now and got on some bluefish. Oh, there we go. There we go, got him, whatever it is. It's probably bluefish. Shaking its head. Oh yeah, another bluey. All right, that's two. And I just could not find the trout. So when things like this happen and I can't find the food I'm looking for or the fish I'm looking for, we celebrate a local establishment. This local establishment uh, is called Scoop. It's an ice cream shop. Uh, my son, Dean, and I love it so much. And if you don't like ice cream, well, I don't know. Maybe you're lactose intolerant. They have options for that there also. But we love ice cream, and we went to get some ice cream. Check this out. You want to get some ice cream? Yeah. All right. Come down to scoops. You like something sweet? Come here. This, this is one of my favorite ice cream shops in town. That's why we're here today. We didn't catch any fish to keep and eat, so we're gonna get something sweet. Hey, what? Can you believe this guy who said he doesn't want to sell Sandman? He doesn't know St. Augustine Sandman? Oh, okay. Well, you enjoy your ice cream. <laughs> How is it? Good? remember what kind of ice cream you got? A Superman and cotton candy and Brookie Dough Blast. Brookie Dough Blast? Superman, cotton candy, and Brookie Dough Blast? Okay. 
Sensei